Hey YouTube, want to see what's been going on with my discus tanks? Well then stay tuned. Hey YouTube, Brian here again. Just coming at you today with a video on my discus tanks. Um, I haven't showed them in quite a while now. Um, for a few different reasons. Um, both of them, I've had some pretty severe algae problems. Basically, that's due to the high light and failure um, on both of my CO2 regulators um, on each on each of the tanks. So I've been messing around with that a lot. Um, finally, have gotten one of the CO2 regulators to work properly, and the other one I'm I'm doing okay with uh, for the time being. But I'm going to have to get something new soon. Um, but anyway, um, I've done some rescaping, I've done some things like that, and then I also had a major problem over in the 90 gallon, so I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. But here's the 150. Um, I've thinned the herd out a little bit as far as, uh, um, thinned a lot of the Blix of Japonica out. I still have a ton in there, and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to move forward with that. I really like these big balls of, of Blixa. But at the same time, they take up a lot of space, and I don't know that they look good right in the middle. Thinking about maybe putting, kind of having like one big bush of it on each end. But um, as you can see, I don't know if I've done a video on it or not, but if, several weeks back, I tore out all the dwarf hair grass that I was going to carpet it with. That stuff was just too hard, you know, it just took too much time to maintain for me. Um, so, I, so I got rid of it. Um, and I've decided to do something a lot simpler and something that's a lot easier to maintain, and that is storage and repens. Um, I've uh, been picking it up left and right lately um, from some different sources and planting it. And as soon as it fills out, I'm I'm, I'm thinking I'm really going to like the way it looks. It's just going to be a nice, simple, easy carpet, and it's not something that I'm going to have to have my hands in the tank trimming up constantly. So. Um, a few other plants that I've got in here, you can see some Pogo stamen erectus back there. And then over on this side, I'm digging that plant. I'm planning on adding some more. I'm not exactly sure where in the tank. We've got some compact um, hygro or hygrophila compacta in a few different spots here. And I think I'm going to get rid of that. I've got some struggling, surviving um, AR mini right here that I had previously and a little bit there. You can see some of the algae I'm still battling down here. I'm not sure why, and if anybody can give me some helpful hints, I'd appreciate it, but I'll remove this, and within two days, it's growing back just down here near the substrate. You know, um, I'm running plenty of CO2. I'm doing some, even adding some Excel. I've toned back my light photo period a ton. And really, nothing's different than before. It's just all of a sudden when my CO2 problems um, started and that's when the algae bloom started, I just haven't been able to completely kick it. So um, give me some ideas. You know, on a planet tank, it's hard to do 100% blackout because then you lose all your plants. You can't run CO2 while the lights are out, otherwise your fish die. So kind of an endless cycle of crap, basically. But... Um, so that's what's going on in here. I'm liking it. It's not quite to where I want it to be yet, but um, it's going to get there, and I'm looking forward to that. So here's the 90 gallon. Uh, sorry for the reflection, but um, that's just how it is this time of day. Um, 90 gallon is it's come a long way from what it looked like when it crashed. Um, I don't know. I mentioned in a video that this tank crashed completely on me. Um, I lost all the discus in the tank almost all the inhabitants and I'm slowly rebuilding it up um, right around the same time of that crash is when the CO2 regulator started failing and I lost most well I, I lost pretty much all the plants in this tank too the pogo stamen erectus was really the only thing that pulled through and it wasn't looking so good but for whatever reason that seems like such a delicate plant but it made it so what I've done um, since then, this is you know probably a month ago now or something like that. I'm not quite sure exactly how long ago, but uh, tore out all the plants, started getting more fish. I I replenished and added to my neon or not neon, but uh, cardinal tetra uh, collection. I've added seven discus now. Um, first, I want to give a huge shout out to Tom over at Planet Aquarium MN. 
he hooked me up with three that he no longer wanted. Um, this blue scorpion back here, little guy. Uh, I'm completely blanking out what this guy is here. And then this, uh, blanking out on this one too. But anyway, the, the albino looking one. And then just uh, more recently, within the last week, I picked up this awesome looking leopard right here from one of my local fish stores. This red cover. Um, this Reflection D, and a Blue Diamond, who's up here in the corner, little guy. Couldn't resist the prices on those, so um, I've added some Blixa Japonica back into this tank right around here and over in here. And then I'm also going to go with the Storage and Repens um, carpet like I had pre previously in the tank. I, I completely lost that whole carpet, it was such a bummer. So I've got some in here, I'm going to let them spread out, and actually I'm looking to buy some more. So anybody who may have some for sale, hit me up and um, I'd like to buy some from you. So um, that's kind of what's going on with that tank. Um, what else? Um, when I lost all the population in here, I replenished with Auto Sinkless. I got some more Amano Shrimp. Here's uh, that's an Auto there. I can't see any Amano Shrimp out right now. The one thing that made it throughout when I when the tank crashed though are those pee puffers. You can see one of them back there right in against the back wall. Um, and again, we got some algae growth. Same thing happening over in this tank. It, uh, it ticks me off, but I'm just trying to be patient with it and um, I'm cleaning it up as much as I can and doing what I can. Like I say, I've adjusted down my photo period. Um, and uh, just trying not to have the lights on as much and cranking up the CO2 as much as the fish will tolerate. So that is what's going on with the discus tanks. I haven't shown them for quite a long time. Um, they just have not been looking well, so I just really haven't been showing them. Um, but I'm starting to get to a point now where I'm getting back into the groove and getting happy with them. Um, not to where I want them to be yet, but um, they will be soon. So. Um, I'll be doing an update soon on some of my other tanks, um, so stay tuned for that. Um, make sure you go over and check out everybody at Aquatic Support Systems. Um, I put the links to their YouTube videos in the bottom. I've also put the links to the Aquatic Support Systems Facebook page, the Aquatic Support Community Facebook page, or Facebook group, and then the Instagram, Google Plus, and Twitter accounts that we've got set up now too. So make sure you get into all those and become a part of it. Um, it's a great place to, uh, or great places to hang out, and uh, lots of good stuff going on over there. So make sure you become a part of all that. Uh, in the meantime, I just want to thank everybody for uh, all the all the views and all the comments you give me and support and subscriptions. Um, you know, I couldn't do any of this without you guys, and I, I just really appreciate all my subscribers, so thanks a ton for that. Um, before this video gets to be too long, though, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here, but stay tuned for some videos coming up, and uh, talk to you soon.